bite him, Randy. I knew it was going to bite him. It is Frank the Tank, and that was the three-game series with the Sherlock. Hope you enjoyed that, but whew, man, I gotta tell you, that ball on these conditions, this is house shot, might I add. I mean, that's a whole lot of ball, if you know what I mean. It's just a whole lot of ball for these conditions. In fact, if I had to say, maybe it's a little too much ball for these lanes, but I only say that maybe if you have a high rev rate. Uh, like, I don't have a high rev rate, okay? I, if I had to say, like, I, it's not exact, but if I had to say I probably in the, am in the high 300s to low 400s, that's my RPM range, if I had to say. I don't know uh, if that, that, that is true or not. I mean, I have tried to calculate my own rev rate, and I truly believe that that's where I'm at. I could be wrong, but... Um, yeah, because of that, I, that I gotta say, like, look how far left I'm playing with this ball. I mean, that it's so unnecessary. You shouldn't have to do that. Uh, you know, I mean, if you're playing on house shot, like, if you're in league, typically this is what they'll what they'll give you. Uh, they'll some their version of a house shot or something like that. And usually on a house shot, what you should be doing is like not going beyond the confines of the twentieth the twentieth board, which is middle arrow. And you can see here, I'm standing past the middle dot uh, but I'm not necessarily sending the ball beyond uh, you know beyond that middle arrow but I'm still having to stand there so if if you're having to do that at the start then you know that's not really it's too much and yeah with this ball that's what I was having to do and uh, keep in mind, I don't think these th this lane that I was bowling on, I don't think it was used at all. I think it was pretty fresh. And I was lucky that it was fresh because, um, or somewhat fresh, because uh, if it wasn't, imagine how far, how much further left I would have had to play. I mean, I got lucky that in that third game where you could see me lofting just a little bit, um, well, uh, in that first half of that third game, I, I wasn't lofting, but that was me basically like seeing what I needed to do I was testing the waters and then I saw that the ball like I don't know how I struck that very first shot I mean I tried to do that again and the ball just wasn't making it to the pocket and then I resorted to lofting just a little bit you guys uh, saw that and it, 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 it was working so I, I thought that was kind of weird but you can see I, I had to loft because again this is too much ball for this for these conditions and um, again I got lucky that it only got as bad as that because if the lane was a little bit burnt out I imagine how much further left and how much more loft I would have had to do I got lucky that it was only just that very small uh, loft that I did uh, I, I got I got lucky there but yeah Sherlock my god uh, if if I'm not mistaken uh, the lock series in, in uh, that storm made uh, is known for being like really 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 crazy uh, like all the all the lock bowling balls if I'm not mistaken that they've made are very very powerful on the back end the Sherlock the the regular lock uh, I don't even know how many more else there is but yeah I mean if uh, if I'm not mistaken I, I think this might be the best one out of all of them uh, according to what I've seen I mean I still see a couple of pros uh, pick up this ball every now and then I have seen it as late as 2019 I is what I had, that I've seen this ball and it's been discontinued for some time now uh, so that's that's pretty crazy but that automatically should be enough to tell you that the Sherlock was probably the better uh, the better ball out of all the locks that they've made so um, uh, good ball I can't lie I mean definitely because of how powerful it is on the back end uh, probably would be good for like heavy oil that's for sure uh, but definitely not good for league definitely not good for like you know if you're but if you're just into like you know like stuff that hooks really hard and you're not looking to take this seriously then go for it uh, or at least good luck trying to find one I mean there's still uh, there there 
they're still popping popping up on on eBay every now and then. Uh, not not like other bowling balls that are so difficult to find. Like I don't know an Alpha Crux. Those are t difficult to find. And if you do find one, oh boy, will they be expensive as hell. But uh, uh, yeah, this ball. Oh boy, I mean. As cool as it was watching that very power powerful hook, it's just so unnecessary to have in your bag. Unless, you know, you bowl like tournaments and you're going to have those types of conditions with heavy oil on them. Then, you know, there's no reason for you to have this ball unless you're looking to play for fun or something like that. But, dear Lord, I mean... If I had to say, uh, uh, one thing that I did not realize that, like, this ball looks a lot like the Parallax Effect. And uh, that that's one thing that, that, that like, I did get confused sometimes. Like, I, <laughs> I did remember, like, um, accidentally picking up the parallax effect, and I had to, like, double check. I'm like, what the? And then I realized, oh, snap, that's not the ball. It's this one. So, yeah, that's, that's one thing that I can say that's similar is that the parallax effect, the colors on it look very similar to uh, the, the Sherlock. But, um... Uh, there's actually a, a piece in this video that I cut out that you didn't see. You're gonna see it in here any minute now. But uh, I, I, if I let me see what board was I standing on here? I was standing on let's see. Board 20 is middle arrow, so I was standing about 23, 24 in the first game. That's that's. That's automatically the side right there. That's that's too much. Normally, what you want to do is play probably, I don't know, board. What I see usually uh, in when I'm playing in league, and uh, I, I ha keep in mind a lot of these people that I see playing in league usually have low rev rates but pretty decent speed. So they're playing down and in, probably like straight up the tenth board or around that area. But I will say, if you have a low rev rate then maybe uh, you could still use this ball. Uh, but keep in mind, you probably have to have a decent speed. And what I mean by decent speed, uh, at least 15, 16 miles per hour. That's decent speed, in my opinion. If you uh, have that and you have a low rev rate, then maybe you could still use this ball for league or something like that. If you need just a little bit more of a kick in the back end. Uh, like if you're forced, like if you have a low rev rate and you're forced to move just a little left and you need something that really kicks, then this would definitely work for you. And, um, uh, uh, but if you have a much higher rev rate, then maybe this is not such a good idea. However, if you like to show off to your friends, like, look at this ball, it hooks like hell, then whatever. But, you know, again, uh, the, the number one word here is absolutely unnecessary. That was two words. But, you know, unnecessary is the word here. You, you, this ball, I mean, really, look at this. I mean, for game three, on a house shot, that's kind of sort of a little fresh. Oh, look, right here, here's the... Okay, when I started striking, okay, as I mentioned, that first, those first couple of shots in this, this game three, okay, I didn't loft. You could see that. I was trying to see, could this ball make it if I played without lofting? And it worked at first, but then the next couple of shots, it, it didn't work. And so that's when I realized, okay, I needed a loft. And when I did loft, uh, I right here you can see I basically like retra retraced my here let me rewind right there I retraced my steps because I wanted to get this right I wanted to see if I can repeat it I knew like yeah see I'm like okay I stepped here I, and I threw it there so I thought okay if I can throw it in the exact same spot and maybe like try to match the speed as well it would work and look at that it did five batter so that that was really nice but unfortunately uh, as Rob Stone said, it came back to bite me. So, uh, yeah, that kind of sucked that I, uh, it, it could have been a six, maybe a seven bagger, but, or maybe just a six because of that ten pin that I left on the very last shot. But, yeah, that, that sucks that it, uh, my, uh, strike streak ended like that. Uh, I knew it had to happen at some point. I mean, yeah, right there, I lost my balance. God, man, that could have been that could have been something. I lost major count there with that, but yeah, whatever. It's still it was still a pretty decent game. So uh, yeah, there you, there you go. That's that's what I have to say about the Sherlock. Too much ball for house shot. That that that's that's all I gotta say. Uh, but if you're if 
if you have it and you do like tournaments and stuff like that, then go for it. Maybe you, maybe you might be a good fit in your bag if you need it for like heavy oil conditions, but for house shot, hell no. But anyway, that's all I got to say. Uh, I'm Frank the Tank. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Sherlock that is done and dusted. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much.